my boyfriend likes my girlfriend and I cry in vain. Please help me in my agony. Dear Jane, dear Jane, dear Jane. Agony. I know you can hear me, Lawrence, because you're ignoring me. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I'm sorry. I mean, I don't happen to think it was my fault last night, but if it makes you feel better, I'll apologise for both of us. Jane, how many times do I have to tell you I am not talking to you? That's not all you're not doing to me. <laughs> it's below the belt. True, but it got your attention. Now, look, I feel as bad as you do about last night, but you're the psychiatrist. What are we going to do? Do you? No, no, I'm asking you because I'm doing a survey on husbands with sexual problems. <laughs> I'm sorry to be so blunt, but it's no use not talking about a problem. It won't just go away. I, I would love to talk about it, Jane, if I were the one with the problem. Now, as it is, there was a certain amount of uh, mechanical difficulty last night, but there was a good reason for it. Oh, I knew there would be. What was it? My partner was not arousing me. <laughs> now then, as I recall, I was the only other person in the bedroom last night. You <laughs> wouldn't be referring to me, would you? Jane, have you looked at yourself lately? Well, I've just woken up. I mean, I haven't put myself together yet. You have let yourself go to pieces. It's hardly surprising. Well, I thought you liked me the way I was. I did, Jane. I did when we were married. But if we're being honest, I'd have to honestly say that your physical appearance is not your best quality. Oh, we're being honest, are we? Ah. Yes, I see. You mean you couldn't make love to me because you thought I looked a mess? Mm. I think you look a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Encouragement. Tell me, Wonder Woman, am I a plain Jane? What brought all this up? Just answer the question. I'm your boss. Will I get fired if I tell the truth? You just answered the question. <laughs> An enormous stack of letters arrived by the second post. Would you like to talk about work now? No, I'd like to talk about facelifts. You think you're getting a facelift at your age? <laughs> Not at all. I know a really inexpensive place. They have a success rate of almost 50%. What well, happens to the other 50%? They look worse after the operation. <laughs> Either their face falls entirely or it gets pulled so tight they end up looking oriental. <laughs> My friend Sally, well, we call her Lotus Blossom now. Can't even blink anymore. Oh, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Don't go that far. All you need is a new coat of paint. Why don't you go and see our ravishing editor? Diana has a room full of free samples. Oh, forget it. I am what I am. And you like the way you look? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad you've come to me for help. I've been dying to get my hands on your body for so long. <laughs> We've got so much potential. It's all there, hidden underneath. Well, actually, I was just wondering if you could suggest maybe a teeny weeny little bit of makeup. Oh, nonsense! What you need is a major overhaul, total renovation. <laughs> if you get through with you, your husband won't even recognize you. He'll be delighted. Who are you phoning, a faith healer? <laughs> Someone even better. Rudy. Rudy who? Oh, he hasn't got a surname, but he's the best woman overhauler in the business. Really? When I first met him, he was the head beautician of a large mortuary. He used to do the most <laughs> stunning makeup on the most boring horses. I never missed one of his funerals. Well, now he only works on live models. But don't worry, you do. Rudy, darling, how are you? What do you mean, who am I? It's your fairy godmother. That's right, you naughty little elf. <laughs> Listen, I have a favour to ask you. Yes, it's a matter of life and death. Oh, she's still alive at the moment, but you better get round here quickly. She's fading fast. I love a challenge. Is that your own hair? Or are you running it in for a friend? Ah, uh, yeah, yes, it's mine. Yeah, don't tell me. You wash it? Yeah, yes. Oh, you must stop it at once, doll. Water has a very drying effect. 
You must spray it with buttermilk not more than once a month. In the meantime, you'll wear a wig until we fix your roots. Oh, do you like yogurt? Ah, uh, yes, yes, I eat a lot of it. <sighs> when will women ever learn? Yogurt is not for eating, for putting on the face. Mm, my husband would oh, be very pleased to hear that. Nature's perfect friend. <laughs> Used for centuries by the Romanian gypsies to water of acne, wrinkles, and uh, werewolves. <laughs> I'll use some tomorrow. We'll use some today, uh, but not hazelnut flavor. It's too scrunchy. Ah, I remember. Oh, your eyebrows are a disaster. They'll have to come off. Oh, no, please. I'm attached to them. Your nose is beyond our budget. It can stay. <laughs> it's my talk. You breathe. Sorry. Probably cold. Listen, sweetheart, when I pack your jaw in ice, you'll know from cold. <laughs> I can't wait any longer. Haven't you finished yet? Don't come in. Look, I'm as patient as a gray, but I am her editor. I have a right to see. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Come in slowly. Oh, Jay, what a difference. You look so sophisticated, so nouveau gauche. <laughs> Rudy, you've worked a rare miracle. <laughs> you've pulled it off. Yeah, I wish I could. Can I see? Where is she? Is that her? Oh, Jay, you're absolutely glowing. Can I see? You look so flushed, so moist. I can't bear the glare. Can I see? <laughs> oh, I see. Last time I looked like this, I had swine fever. <laughs> Have you asked her? No. Did she tell you? No. Then how I'm did... I'm a man. I just knew these things. <laughs> when I think of the billions of bras that were burned to save women like your wife from men like you, God, what a waste of good support. <laughs> and, uh, Charles, I'd just like to say that man to man, it's chauvinists like you who give chauvinists like me a bad name. Thank you, Pranny. <laughs> Heaven and Radio 242, and our next caller is a wee Scottish lassie. The face that launched a thousand ships. Hello there, Helen. Welcome to show business. Hello, Helen. Hello. Uh, my problem is that I don't know how to describe my problem. Well, why don't you start at the beginning? Oh, oh, no, I think I'd better start at the end. I'm 34 and I'm married. But over the past year, I've had an experience which has really shaken me up. I've met somebody else I've really fallen in love with. Tell me about him. Oh, no, it's my girlfriend. <laughs> well, actually, she's not the problem either. We have a really great relationship. No, I still love my husband, and I don't feel I'm doing anything wrong with my girlfriend. No, my problem is that I'm my librarian. That's a problem? <laughs> she can't read. <laughs> yes, you see, I have a very tidy mind. Now, if I were to look myself up in the card catalogue, would I be bisexual, unisexual, or polymorphous perverse? <laughs> I gather you're asking me for a label, Helen. Listen, labels are for pickles. You're a person. Oh, but Jane, there must be some word for what I am. <laughs> Flexible? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Jane. Have I helped? Oh, I don't really think you've told me anything I didn't already know, but it was nice hearing it. That's my stock in trade, saying nothing nicely. Bye, dear. Sorry, folks, I drifted away for a few moments there. <laughs> okay, my little boogie files, I want you to get close to the radio because I have a number here for all you musical masochists. Ian Durian, hit me with your rhythm stick, heavy. <laughs> Jane. Yes? Have you noticed anything different about me? <laughs> Have I noticed anything different about you? <laughs> okay, Andy, who are you in love with this week? I've met this amazing chick and she doesn't want to know. So? So she's ugly and she doesn't want to know. So? 
So why do I only go apeshit for chicks who want nothing to do with me? Well, because it gives you so much skill. Oh, no, Jane, look, this is serious. If, if what's-her-name refuses to see me again, I swear to God I'm going to kill myself. Oh. Unless I can have you instead. Oh, Andy, you are the only curb crawler I know who works indoors. <laughs> Do you think I'm insincere? Oh, is the Pope Polish? Listen, someday I'll get through to you. I'm not just playing hard to get, I am hard to get. Please remember, I'm married. All the better. And in the olden days, adulteresses used to get stoned. They still do. <laughs> Jane, what's wrong with your face? You don't look well. <laughs> Yourself. I've made a big mistake. Let me go straight. No, no, wait a minute. Turn around. Come closer. No, no, go away. Do you like it? No, it's horrible. Listen, I'll just go and get rid of it. And then I've got a wonderful surprise for you. Oh, what? Yes, I I'm going to cook us a lovely romantic dinner and take the phone off the hook. You're going to cook? Yes. Food? For you. I can't believe your ears. No, you mean you can't believe your ears? No, I can't believe your ears. You've got makeup in them, too. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that's not makeup, that's yogurt. Rhubarb. Yeah. <laughs> I got a surprise for you. Oh, Lawrence, you shouldn't have. I went to a sex shop today. Oh, Lawrence, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Utensils. <laughs> Are you trying to build something? Yes, Jane, I'm trying to repair our marriage. Jane, look at this manhood restorer. <laughs> that should do the trick. Why, what does it do? Sit up and beg. Oh, Lawrence, you're not going to put that on your poor little person. <laughs> I'm about to seduce you. This is no time for frivolity. No, you're right. That'll come afterwards. <laughs> oh, Jane, Jane, now don't oh. be so inhibited. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, what are you doing? Anna Jane, 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 you know, sex aids are as common nowadays as hearing aids. Pardon? Yes, it. yes Jane, Jane. Look, Jane, we will start. We will start with this. Oh, Slate, what's it do? What's it do? Well, Jane, it lights up when I light. Jane, Jane, don't laugh. Sex is a, sex is a very serious business, Jane. This lot must have cost you a fortune. It's all tax deductible. Oh, <laughs> we can't use, I'll give to the WVS. <laughs> okay. Jane, Jane, all this might, might, might seem silly to you, Jane, but it might just give me that extra little fillip of enthusiasm that I need. <laughs> Hello, little Philip. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm sorry. Listen, for you, I'd go to bed with a blender. Great. Oh, Jane. Yes. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 Jane, fast. Fast, you mean. Start off with try with this. Oh, what does that do? I don't know. Come here. No. Stand back. What does it do? It doesn't do anything. Oh, no. 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 I think we've fused the fridge. <laughs> I felt so wretched since yesterday morning. If I felt that good, I'd be lucky. What are we going to do? I'll get it mended. <laughs> no, Lawrence, not the fridge. Who's going to mend us? Oh, it's not my fault, Jane. I tried so hard last night. Yes. <laughs> there is one thing we haven't tried yet. Oh, please, Jane, I have no energy left. No. <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean, we haven't tried a sex therapist. Sex that over my dead body, Jane. Precisely. <laughs> oh, it's the gay answer to Brian Clough. <laughs> All mouth and tracksuit. Well, this had better be important, Rob. Every day is important, Jane. Every day in every way. 
I'm getting better and better. At what, Robert? Well, I had this incredible night last night. With Michael? Of course with Michael. Who else? Oh. I tell you, the electricity. Yes. Yes, I know what you mean. <laughs> we found this amazing stuff. Oh, OK, listen. Sorry, fellas, but every day, in every way, I'm getting later and later. Bye! What is it, Robin? Aphrodisiac? Uh, yes, but it's organic. Uh, you should try it. <laughs> if you need that sort of thing, Robert. <laughs> Personally, I think it's, you know, gilding the lily. <laughs> How do you take it? Orally? Yes. <laughs> but only a little. It's very potent stuff. Uh, does it work for ordinary people? What? Well, I mean, you know, um... <laughs> straight people. <laughs> as well as, you know, your sort of thing. It'll make you straighter than ever, Lawrence. <laughs> Dear Jane Lucas, my father's knocking off his secretary. My mother's menopausal down at bingo. My sisters earn their pocket money as ladies of the night. My girlfriend says she won't. But what I really worry about is, will Celtic win the big match? Has he got problems? Mm -hmm. He's a compulsive liar. Stick it in the fake file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jane Lucas's office? Just a minute. It's your mother. Uh. I thought I was enjoying myself too much. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and don't forget, you're due in Diana's office five minutes ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good morning, Mother. What's so good about it? The poodle's <laughs> just pooed on the dray long, and I've just read your latest column, and I'm thoroughly embarrassed for you. Mother, why are you shouting? I'm shouting because my hair's wet. Ah, yes, of course, that makes perfect sense. Have you rung to nag me, Mother? Yes, I have. Well, it cheers me up, and I have very few pleasures these days, unlike the perverts on your page. Jane. Jane, isn't anybody ashamed these days? And what happened to good old-fashioned guilt? You had it made into a necklace with matching earrings. <laughs> what did you say? I said you had it. Forget it. Oh, listen, Jane, your father, God rest his soul, he always remembered to apologise to me after he'd... Uh, had his way. <laughs> and he always remembered to buy me some token of his shame, like, like a washing machine or a new pair of curtains. You know, I always wondered why we had so little furniture in the house. <laughs> <laughs> the less you have, the less you want. Ah, oh, just a minute, Ma. What? Hello. Hello, Jane. Oh, hello, Lawrence. Uh, what time will you be home? Usual time. Oh, can't you come now? Well, I'll be home as quick as I can. I've got a little something for you here. <laughs> oh, good. I'll, uh, I'll look forward to that. Diana's holding a temper on line two. She says it's now or never. OK, okay. listen, I'll see you both when I see you both. It's Andy on cloud nine. He says his life is in your hands and his head is in the oven. Tell him, uh, ask him if he wants me to lend him a match. Yes, please. <laughs> Druid's ancient herb elixir <laughs> puts you on top of things. <laughs> you have oh. Darling, <laughs> darling, did you drink the whole bottle? Oh, oh no. <laughs> you haven't. Oh, yes, yes, darling, I'll pop you under the duvet. Yes, yes, then we'll make passionate love. Mmm, all night long. Whoa. <laughs> do something about the situation. Hello. <laughs> you and your little Philip. Hello. Oh, hello, Dr. Strong. This is Jane Lucas. I'm awfully sorry to ring so late, but I do need your help. The, uh, the couple's name is Lucas. Thank you. I'll be there. And so will the problem. <laughs> the first question I ask a couple who come to visit me is, what made you decide to visit a sex therapist? Well, my my wife has a problem. A pro oh, do, do I? I? Yeah, she does, Doctor. Uh, Jane seems awfully anxious that we're not making love. Now, speaking personally and uh, being a therapist myself, John, I understand that these things come and go now and again, you know, up and uh, down and so on. Jane seems to get hysterical over the slightest little thing. Impotence isn't anything to be ashamed of, Lawrence. Yeah. This is ridiculous. I can't think why I let Jane drag me here. If she wasn't so overworked, I wouldn't be so under Oh, if I was feeding four kids in the kitchen, you'd be complaining that you're so frigid, Doctor. Frigid, that is not fair! Hold it, hold it. Please sit down. It is not a question of blame. Let's just try and find out how we can resolve the problem. 
Now, Lawrence, am I correct in assuming that you are impotent? Only when we're making love. <laughs> I understand I had the same problem once. Really? I didn't think that was possible, you know, ethnically. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual problems aren't just the white man's burden. No, of course not, Doctor. You have what is known as performance anxiety. Oh, I had that once on the Russell Harty show. <laughs> Jane, Jane, don't interrupt the doctor. Do you think sex is dirty? Yes, if it's any good. <laughs> Mr. Lucas, you're being flippant, and as a psychiatrist, you must understand why you're being flippant. Oh, yes. The old flippancy syndrome. Unfortunately, when you spend all day working with other people's problems, your own problems get more complicated. Ah, the pressure in this is your personal sexual relationship, which is not unusual. Now, if we remove the pressure, you have more time to... Re-establish correlation. Get to know one another again. I want you and your wife to be loving, supportive, and uh, totally non-sexual with one another for the next 14 days. But supposing I get a... Ignore it. <laughs> you are forbidden to make love for the next two weeks. <laughs> Looks like we're in for a pretty normal fortnight. Oh, but the difference is, <laughs> you mustn't try. Oh. The next time your husband wants to make love, you know what to say. No? That's right. Oh. Are we all agreed? If that's all you want, I won't. Splendid. Mrs. Lucas? You're on. It's off. <laughs> no, it's impossible, Jane. It is not impossible. Oh, Jane, 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 I must have you come here, Jane. Oh, no, no, Jane, Jane, the doctor, he never knows. This is not fair. Jane, 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 I can't keep my hands on you for two long weeks, Jane. Look, remember, my physical appearance is not my best quality. Oh, no, you're Ooh, beautiful. Look at that, what? good gracious. Oh, oh no, no, you changed me. Jane, look, this prohibition has been like an aphrodisiac to my sex drive. I'm in high gear. Change down. No, 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 Jane. Oh, 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 please. Oh, oh, Jane. Oh, anything but that. Oh, oh. I can't keep my hands off you, you for too long. Agonizing weeks, you Jane. Can't, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Jane, Jane, oh. Jane, you're beautiful. Jane, I never realized. Forbid you. Forbid you. Forbid you. Forbid you. Forbid you. I must have you, Jane. No, all right. All right. Okay. But not in here. In the lab. Oh, in the lab. Listen to Jane. All right, Jane. Two weeks, Lawrence. Not a night less. Oh, Jane, don't let this door come between us. No. I'm cured, I tell you. Please, please, go, 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 play with your toys. Oh, I want you to build my toys. Lawrence. Oh, I was always taught to share my toys. <laughs> go lay on the sofa and think about my mother. Oh. Oh! What was that? Oh, I can see you, you rotten cheat. Oh, Jane. No. Good night, Lawrence. Good night, Jane. Night. Night. And you can stop looking so smug as well. That's all I need to spend the night with a flasher. <laughs> Thank you.